In the center of every atom is a nucleus. That's where the protons and neutrons are. The nucleus is incredibly stable. That's why when we write chemical equations, we don't have to account for the elemental identities to change. Only the electrons move, not the protons or neutrons. But, wouldn't it be fun to imagine what would happen if we could strike a nucleus so hard with a little atomic hammer that we could send subatomic particles flying? Uh, well, do you remember a second ago when I said the nucleus is stable? That was a lie. A partial lie. Lead is the last truly stable element. All the rest have nuclei that are too large and naturally fall apart. This is called radioactive decay. Did you know there's three kinds of radiation? When a nucleus falls apart, it'll either decay by spitting out an alpha particle, a beta particle, or pure energy in the form of gamma rays and x-rays. No matter the form, you don't want to be hit with any of this stuff. It's so energetic they can transform the atoms in your body to ions. And ions are highly reactive. They cause all sorts of trouble in our bodies. They can lead to long-term effects like cancer or short-term effects like death. But a little bit of danger can add to the excitement. So. Back to the original question. Now we know who our prime targets are since they're already unstable, but hitting them with a hammer won't do much. Instead, people who work in nuclear power plants attack nuclei with slow-moving neutrons. That's right, slow. A slow-moving neutron is more likely to join a nucleus, while a fast one might just fly right by it or get deflected off of it. Uranium is the most common material in power plants, and when a neutron joins with it, BOOM! It breaks it into many other elements, about 35. And more neutrons, would you look at that? The neutrons continue to fly until they merge with the nucleus and cause more havoc. As you can see, this will never end until all the material is used up. It's called a chain reaction, and it can produce a ton of heat. Nuclear power plants have gone critical when technicians weren't carefully keeping the process cool with water. If you were to weigh the reactants in the products, the products would always weigh less. This is unheard of in traditional chemistry. What's happening is some of the original matter is being converted to energy using this famous equation. So, a portion of the energy allowing you to watch this video is actually coming from the destruction of matter as we know it.